you need to organize your email with AI. Look, we all have Gmail accounts, your inbox gets crazy, and we have thousands and thousands of unread messages. Well, I got tired of this, so I'm letting AI have control of my account and organize all my emails for me. So in this video, not only am I gonna show you how to declutter, but also organize and categorize all of your emails. If you look at my Gmail now, there are these things called labels. Your inbox is actually one of them. So what I'm gonna do is ask ChatGPT for labels to organize my email I then will have it search all of my emails back a certain number of days and then for each email AI will decide which label to put it under. Well let's go ahead and run the program and see it in action. Okay, so it finished and I kind of had some print statements. So there were a total of 370 emails in the last 30 days on this email account that I have. And at the end I labeled or I had to print out how many emails went to each label that it created. So you see the most is again, newsletters and subscriptions, which I'm not surprised about. I'm pretty sure that might be all of uh, our emails might have the most subscriptions. That's probably the label that's going to be used the most. Um, I didn't have any for read later, which is interesting, but I had 20 23 for action required. So let's look at my Gmail and make sure that it created them. And as you can see over on the right, the last message I have in my inbox is from June 27th as, and as of this recording, it's July 28th, which means that it took the last 30 days worth of emails, removed them from my inbox. And then if we go over to the left, there are all of these labels here. It created other email name or label names. And I don't know why I did that, but that's really just prompt engineering, right? But for the newsletter subscriptions, uh, I have 123 unread, but there's more in there, right? Um, but it created all the labels properly over here in my Gmail account, just like I wanted it to. So I can go to my action required and see what all is in here that's, you know, might need my attention. Okay, so from just the last 30 days in a few minutes, it was able to categorize all of my emails into labels so that I can kind of see it organized more and see what I actually need to look at. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is how could this be made better, right? How could my code make this be quicker or more efficient? Well, I know one thing is it goes through each email, looks at the body and the subject and then determines what label that should go under. The AI, the AI does that. So when I make that call, you know, I had 370 emails, I had 370 calls, but we could maybe batch those up, right? Instead of making one call each, we could somehow find a way to batch every like 25, even just 10 emails at a time. You know, we could have it check for certain keywords, right? So like if an email is important, we could say, you know, look for urgent, required, or need attention now or things like that for some of the labels and we could have ChatGPT come up with those keywords and then if it sees those, it immediately knows it has to go in that label. You know, we could also create an agent to make sure that the labels look correct based off of the email. So we could kind of have like label checker, for instance, that could help us make sure they're organized properly. And like we saw, we don't have these erroneous labels made that I didn't ask it to, but that could also be improved, which for another way to improve this is the prompt engineering, right? You could make the prompt better so that it knows only to create those labels and don't do anything else. And if you don't know what to categorize it under, just, you know, give it under the miscellaneous label. But Either way, this worked exactly how I wanted it to. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. I also have a link for if you want to donate and buy me a coffee. There's a link in the description. And if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, I come out with one every week, Sunday at noon. If you have any suggestions about how AI can make your life easier, leave them in the comment section down below. If you are interested in creating your own AI agents, I have beginner courses for AI agent frameworks that you can see here. And they'll also be down below in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.